So can you see my quad cortex, how is happy? I'm not so happy like the quad cortex, but the quad cortex is really, really happy because finally here is the Core OS 3 by NeuroDSP. And let's talk about the really good improvement and also something that in my opinion has been done in rush way. I guess some mistakes, audio video production. Today I'm gonna comment and talk about the new Core OS 3.0.0, the firmware of the Quad Cortex. Why I say that have been done in rush way? Because in my opinion, Neural DSP wanted to answer to all the question about plugin compatibility. People are asking more and more about plugin compatibility and Neural DSP wanted to give you some smell about the plugin compatibility, even if it's not really ready this feature in my opinion. And we will see in a moment why. Uh, there are some really great improvement in my opinion. It starts of course with the plugin compatibility. In the store you will see which kind of plugin is already compatible with the quad cortex and will be shown in this way so you can see the compatible in green with the sort of quad cortex uh, icon here while some other plugins are not compatible yet. We have the Archetype Pliny X, which will be the first one, and it was also the first one with the plugin compatibility. And then we have also the uh, Gojira, so is written here. Yes, Archetype Gojira uh, X. Then will be done also the compatibility for the Nameless, 14 Nameless, and also for the Soldano. I don't know how NeuroDSP sorted all these things, but they decided to do the 14 Nameless and then the Soldano instead of the 14 NTS and other plugin made before the Soldano. Then, as you can see, we have some new devices, so some new blocks that you can use. Of course, the transpose, the doubler, transparent blend, pitch correction, this kind of devices are from the Neural DCP plugin shared features. Uh, of course, the transpose and doubler have been added with the Petrucci, if I remember well. So uh, this feature will be added to all the plugins. So you will get the doubler for the quad cortex and also the doubler from the plugin. So will be different. I think the algorithm will be uh, different. And of course, you will have different blocks. Then another really cool feature is the side chaining. So in this way, you are no more uh, fixed to use this sort of uh, parallel routing. So you can basically split the line, go to other blocks and return to the first line, like this one, basically, this is a parallel routing. But now you can also use the side chain and basically you can send the signal from whatever kind of block you want to another block, to another line. And you are creating this sort of uh, invisible line with the side chaining. And this will open to really inimaginable uh, kind of routing you can create. This is really important to me because as you can see, I'm in a studio and I can use the quad cortex uh, for producing purpose. And for this reason, I can use this maybe for vocals if I want to create some sort of compression, maybe using the VCA compression and the, um, the digital compression that I have inside the quad cortex and some other reverb, I can create this side chaining to have reverb that is responding to the, the compression and side chaining and use this for my uh, production. So it's really, really good to have this side chaining mode. So it's not only for guitar and bass or for instrumentalists, uh, let me say, but also for uh, production. That's really great. And thank you NeuroDSP for this side chaining. Here are all the devices that can be used for side chaining. So the doubler, plug-in doubler, plug-in blend, transparent blend, adaptive gate, the legendary 87. So not all the, as you can see here, all the compression, but not all the devices. So I wanted to use this with a reverb. So I don't know I, if I can do that. I have to think, and of course I have to try out the core OS. Then as you can see, the new plugin devices, as said, will be uh, the Pliny X 
and the Pliny Gojira. And as you can see here, you can see, and as you can see, you can see here, that all the parameter from the plugin will be in a sort of block. You will have a block of Pliny Comp, Pliny Octaver, Pliny Drive, and so on and so forth. So in my opinion, this will be a bit a mess because if you want to create the routing of the plugin, you have to drag and drop, I don't know, all these sort of uh, block. And as you can see, are a lot here on the Pliny are not so much, but if you can see here on the Gojira, you have a lot of. <laughs> and basically, if you want to engage all of these blocks, I don't know if you can use other blocks in your quad cortex. If the quad cortex can handle all the CPU, but also talking about the space of all the blocks. I don't know. I don't know if Neural DCP is seeing this video, but I think that would be really clever to use also a, a giant block, well, one block, that you can drag and drop inside the quad cortex, and maybe that is all your plugin. So that is the Archetype Pliny plugin, and then you can use other blocks, of course. In that way, if I click inside that block, I can expand it and I can see all the blocks, so all these blocks that in, I don't know, in a line or in parallel routing, I don't know how is the algorithm of the, uh, of the plugin, I can see all these blocks. And I can also manage all these blocks, go inside deeper and deeper. So I think that would be clever in this way and also cleaner to see in my quad cortex. Uh, I don't know if it will be in this way, I, I really don't know, but I think this would be clever. Adding also all these parameters uh, alone would be really cool also to use maybe, I don't know, only the Pliny Crunch, I can drag and drop and I can make my custom routing with other blocks from the quad cortex. So not use all the Pliny plugin because overall will be too much for, for the CPU, for the quad cortex, I think. So maybe I want only the drive, I want only the Pliny leads, and I want only the Pliny chorus. I can engage and drag and drop only this without using all other stuff. Or if I want, I can bring the giant block of the uh, the plugin itself and inside I can expand everything. I don't know, maybe in your DSP is listening and in my opinion, this would be really clever to use, really easy to use. There will be some custom folders. You already can do some custom folders if you want to create uh, your custom presets, you can create this. But here you can also do some subfolders. So you can create your organization for uh, your presets and your Impulse responses, you can do some uh, subfolder. This will be also easier to, to search something inside a folder. So this is really great. Then there will be some unified uh, device screen, not so important. This is the most important thing. The multiple MIDI messages per foot switch and expression. This is really cool because I wanted to make a video time ago about an angle amplifier that was a MIDI angle amplifier and I want to create some sort of MIDI implementation with the quad cortex. I started to do that and then I realized that only one message I can use for uh, for each kind of full switch. So it was really terrible for a MIDI switcher. So now you can use multiple MIDI messages for one foot switch. So really great. With one foot switch you can do whatever you want basically. Now, finally, thank you. Thank you Neural DSP. And then the last thing is the bulk action. I'm not so happy about this one because, you know, it's really easy to make a bulk action. Now you can basically select multiple uh, kind of presets or multiple whatever you want, and you can delete, for example, you can upload. This is really cool to upload directly to the cloud because otherwise it was a really mess. And I think that Neural DCP now is starting to listening to developer. So developer of captures. I'm a developer of captures. And when I basically create captures for one single amplifier, I usually do not less than 50 captures per each amplifier. And imagine to make one by one upload. Yes, upload. Uploaded. Drag, upload. 
uploaded. It's really long. It's really long. Thinking about it, I'm still waiting to upload a package that I made for a Mesa Boogie Roadster because it was more than 200 captures because it's a really complicated amplifier, several channels, several switches. So I try to capture every kind of settings, but I'm still waiting to upload it because you know 200 and more captures one by one to upload on the cloud. But the most important thing about this bulk action is that I want the bulk action also in the Cortex cloud because I want to send to my client in one single click all the captures I want, all the presets I want. I have no time to stay on the Cortex cloud one by one, share, search for the customer. Are they friends? Click, okay, shared. Now let's go to the other capture. It's very, very long. So thank you NeuroDCP for this bulk action on the Quad Cortex, but please do that on the Cortex cloud. Will be really, really fast and easier for developer of captures. So please listen to your clients. So guys, I think it's a really great improvement for neural DCP and for people that wanted to purchase the Quad Cortex, but were not so convinced about it. Now with the Core OS 3, I think it's the time to purchase the Cortex Cloud is the most advanced platform for every kind of sound. Sounds really great, it's stable, and basically you can do whatever routing now, really. You can do whatever you want. And also for the people that wanted maybe to sell the Quad Cortex, maybe it's time to think about it. To not do that, of course. So guys, if you want to know more about Neural DCP, if you want to uh, listen more captures, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.